Today we are going to learn about find and replace in a child server message. It's nothing but finding a specific keyword and replacing with some other keyword whether it's uh, numeric data or alphabetical data. So we are going to work on OBX5 searching for a specific keyword and removing that value. So before going ahead and doing this code changes we need to really learn what is the functional aspect of this. So if we are doing any code changes there is a reason behind it right. So for find and replace there are a lot of reasons and it is very very important to learn the reasons before uh, even going and doing the coding. So I have just written down a few statements over here like there are a lot of applications uh, where we can use find and replace for example data cleaning, privacy and security if there is any private data crossing through some segments and we need to identify it and replace it with some other dummy data or like unnecessary data. Custom transformation even one of the good uh, thing is like error handling for example, sometimes we'll get the error codes like uh, 123, 006, 145, whatever it is. I want to replace that numerical numbers with the actual content. What is the error means with the description. So I can use find and replace. So there are like lot of things uh, in data cleaning, normalization, we can use find and replace. It is very, very vital to learn how to do find and replace. So we'll go ahead and learn uh, how find and replace works. So I'll minimize this and we'll go to our must so this is one of the channel which I created I'll uncheck it and yep we will go ahead and work on it yeah so I already typed a uh, small text on how we are going to do find and replace I'll go through it so this is nothing but finding the value in OBX5 and replacing it and this is a very very basic coding you don't need to think much about it so in this particular code we are going to assign a variable for obx 5.1 the first iteration of obx 5.1 so it is very important which iteration we are checking also so the first iteration of obx 5.1 we are assigning the variable o, va variable obx 5 in the second variable we are using obx 5 dot replace so this is where everything changes dot replace old keyword to new keyword okay what I'll do I'll do something I'll do something like okay I'm going to replace uh, Gandhi with Bose okay this looks uh, fine right and I am assigning this particular OBX5 to same OBX5.1 that's simple right it's very very simple so this simple way you can uh, do a find and replace I'll go ahead I'll save the changes I'll deploy this and we are going to test it. Test it. You don't need to worry. I, I already gave the complete code in GitHub uh, in the below description. You can look over it. So what I'll do? I'll copy it. Right click. Send message over here uh, in the OBX file. I keep it as Gandhi. Okay. Uh, perfect. And we'll see how it works. I'll process this. I'll search it. Go to destination. Yeah, the raw message is Gandhi over here in the encoded format automatically it has been changed to Bose so that's how you can find and replace any particular word from any segment in any HL7 like format whether it's fire or XML you can do it for sure so I want to explain the simplest form of codes as possible but here see whenever whenever we are writing code we should be very strict on what's going on and even we need to check whether this is case sensitive or not so what I'll do I'll copy and I'll resend the message once again and I'll uh, do something like I'll remove the capital G and do it like this I'll process it and I'll check it go to destination so this is the Gandhi in the encoded you can see yeah it has not been changed to both means this is case sensitive whatever uh, code we have given in our code that will work in a similar way so it's not working so we need to make it a uh, case instance too depending upon our requirement and I'm going to our channel and I'm going to transformer I'm going to make this case uh, insensitive so we'll work on it so the only line I want to add is before that I'll just add a comment over here okay in the old keyword you can use this GI both over here so in the Gandhi I'll use this forward slash forward slash 
and GI. So it might be looking very funny to you. What is GI? So this is used for replacement. I just type double click. Yeah, the G flag makes the replacement global. Okay, the G flag makes the replacement global. It will replace all occurrence of the keyword in the string. And the I flag makes the replacement case sensitive. You got it right. The I flag makes it case sensitive, and the G flag makes the replacement global. So whatever value you are going over here it will work so for example i'll do one thing i'll keep it as capital g small a capital n dhi and and i want i don't want to copy the same thing i'll copy something else we'll see how it works i'll go i'll save i'll deploy this and i just want to copy i can resend it uh it's in the small letters right yeah i'll rightly resend it Reprocess the message, click OK. And while I search, in the destination you can see it's small letter. So we have given something like capital G, capital N. So as it is case insensitive, it should change to both automatically. In the encoded, oh, still it is gone. So we have made a uh, small mistake. We'll look into it. Every time it's always uh, good to learn by doing mistakes. We'll go to destination, we'll go to transformer, find and replace words. We look at it. See, we actually gave it in the form of string. This particular occurrence is always changing it to string. Okay, we don't need to give this quotes over here. So I'm going to remove it. So always, uh, whenever you are you are doing coding, don't uh, feel bad that you are doing mistakes. It's always always good to learn. Test hundred times and learn it. So uh, yeah, now we are going to test it once again. As we remove the double quotes, it should work. So that that's the reason actually I gave the comments over here. See, it will replace occurrence of keyword in the string. So this has already become string. I don't need to give any double quotes. We'll go back. We'll save the changes. We'll deploy it. We'll go here and we'll reprocess this Gandhi small letter Gandhi. Reprocess the message. Click OK. Search over here. You can see it is Gandhi, and I hope by God's grace it should change to both. Yeah, it got changed. So no matter whether you give in small letter or big letter or change it to different letter, it should change it to both. I'll give something like capital D, capital I. Randomly, it's not at all matching what we have given in the code. It should change. I just sent it. Yeah, I sent this one, and it changed to both. So there are like multiple scenarios uh, which we are learning over here why we are using all these things. So these are like uh, multiple scenarios why we will be using uh, the find and replace things. So it's always better to learn for example uh, if there is any privacy thing find John Doe and replace with uh, patient 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. While for example if I want to convert some production data to test data I will I'll, I'll convert using this. Uh, find and replace for example if I want to find one two three four five and add some custom identifier for that particular patient so there are like infinite number of scenarios you might uh, face in future in next 10 years of your career while you are working on this HL7 merge so I just want to make sure this is not uh, a thing which we should forget we should uh, always keep on using this thank you have a great day hope this is valuable